Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to configure to show the JBI SQL in the log and we have uh, the Spring Boot project with Spring Data JBA and we use some uh, method like file by ID or file on or some tight query and in this case we are curious that what happened behind the scene and in some situation we need to debug um, the issue related to the query and we need to lock the queries in the JPA SQL so we have a two way the first one we use lock back and i also have a, the video related to the lock back configuration and i will i already figure out what is the lock level and we understand about that so in this uh, video i focus on the so the sql query for uh, sql query to show the sql for the jpa methods and uh, we can use the first way the first so solution we can use logback and in this case you know that we we can uh, configure beside the root level you can use the uh, logging level to uh, figure out the for the specific package or specific class and in this case we will uh, figure out the uh, Hibernate SQL uh, package for the debug level yeah and the uh, root level is also info but the uh, the, the level for the Hibernate SQL is debug and in the case it also helps you to show the query behind the scene for some uh, JPA methods or some type query yeah now I will run the application to check the query and you can see uh, what happened so I have the uh, REST API the query the customer by ID that day we have two entity the customer and a thread with the one one mapping so yeah after I run this one you can see that if we generate just uh, two query okay the first one is the query for the customer by the customer ID and the second one you can see that uh, in the case for each customer we have the the link uh, the the chai entity is the address with the one one mapping so in the case and i put the lazy fat tie so in the case it also show you another query uh, to query from the address and file by the customer id so that is the way we um, examine the query behind the scene for the file by methods and if i will change it to the eager fat tie eager and in the case you can see we it generated uh, only one query and in the case it's shown from the customer to address now i run the query and you can see that okay the, just one query and with the shown from the customer to address entity so that is the reason we have to lock the query and when we lock it you can see the what happened behind the scene and it helped us to work with the JPI effectively so um, another thing here we can see that uh, we have uh, the the parameter with the customer id and in some case we need to examine and debug with the parameter so spring um, spring boost in logback it also uh, supports uh, the trace for the uh, prepare statement uh, query so i will add this one to the configuration so you can see that I will run this one again and you can see the different thing will happen. Yeah, 
in the cave with the lazy fat eye is also uh, generate two query yeah and another thing we see here that is the parameter because in this query is the file by customer id so it has the the parameter customer id and you can see that in uh in this api i i uh, part the agreement customer id and it just have a one parameter and you can see the the first parameter in this query is uh, integer and that is 40 value the value is 40 so the value is bars from the rest api you can see here and it's go to here so in the case when we lock this you can see the parameter part to the query and it helps you to debug the the issue more e um, debug the issue uh, easier so the next query is the query from the the address and that is with the lazy fat tie so it's also the customer id is 40 okay so that is the benefits of uh, we trace the 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 log for the prepare statement query Now we move to another way to show the, the log for the SQL query that is using Spring Boot config. So uh, different to uh, different from the first way we use the log back. So in the second way we use the Spring Boot configuration. So we just add this one and I will comment this uh, config and we add the uh, another so we can see that we have uh, the option for the format sql because you see that when the long sql is very uh is very hard to uh, see the query yeah and in this case the format query is format sql it can also help you and you can see that the query is the beautiful uh, format and it's easy to read so it is the same but uh, for this uh, configuration it not support the prepare statement uh, lock for the, the parameter so in this case i uh, i open the trace for the prepare statement and you can see that beside the uh, sql query we also enable the trace for the parameter yeah so uh, so for the two way uh, i recommend we use the first one using the log back uh, it can help you it can also support uh, you the parameter in the prepared statement query and for the spring boot config it does not support that okay and you can use the config for fogmas sql again easy to do easy to see the query so that's all about the show the query so thank you for watching my video